These days, we need to adopt a skeptical stance regarding the information we rely on to make decisions or understand our world. A lot of times, social media sharing is blamed for the spread of fake or inaccurate news, but lax journalistic practices from some of our most reputable papers are also to blame sometimes. The pressure to provide up-to-the-minute information in a 24-hour news cycle can lead journalists to cut corners and, due to falling revenue for print news, many newspapers are not investing as much into fact-checking and editorial staff. This, along of course with social media, creates the perfect conditions for inaccurate information to become accepted fact. Take, for example, this little fact, that the human attention span went from 12 seconds in 2000 to about 8 seconds in 2015, which is shorter than the attention span of a goldfish at 9 seconds. This was blamed on the internet and our use of smartphones. You can find the fact all over the internet and even in our library databases. As far as I can tell, this fact was reported first on May 14, 2015 by Time Magazine, a well-respected news magazine. They said in their article that the data came from a Microsoft research study in Canada that surveyed 2,000 people and looked at the EEGs of 112 others. This fact was reported again by The Telegraph, a UK newspaper, The New York Times, Adweek magazine, and many other respected publications. The reporters who shared this information later were relying on the original Time magazine story rather than doing their own research. From there, the information trickled down into the popular consciousness, being reported in countless publications and blogs as if it were fact. It even made it into scholarly peer-reviewed articles. It wasn't until February of 2017 that the Wall Street Journal published an article debunking the claim. Another article from the BBC came out in March that actually looked at the Microsoft report and learned that the data about attention spans was in the report, but was not actually part of the study they did. They also found that Microsoft got that information from a website called Statistic Brain, which doesn't provide any information for where the statistics actually came from. Neither the Wall Street Journal nor the BBC could find evidence of a study that measured the attention span of a goldfish and couldn't find experts who believed attention spans of humans could be measured that way. So the people at Microsoft Research did a bad job of sourcing the information they used in the report. The reporter at Time Magazine did a bad job of reading the report, and then the other reporters did a bad job by relying on Time Magazine rather than reading the Microsoft study themselves. This kind of circular reporting makes it very easy for fake or inaccurate information to flourish and become something people accept as fact. The big problem is, when you search Google for information about human attention spans in the Internet age, you're far more likely to find the incorrect information than articles that disprove it. In this environment, adopting a skeptical stance toward anything you read is wise, and tracking down the original source of the information is often the best way to determine whether the fact is believable or not. And if you ever need help figuring out whether something is true or not, ask a librarian. We're happy to help.